you and UNH. Uh, they play hard, man. They play hard. And I feel for them with fur going down. We, we know what that feels like. We know what that feels like. Billy and I are good friends. And uh, never like to see that. And I know these guys didn't like to see that. And I don't like to see anybody go down and get hurt. You want everybody to full strength when you play them. It's unfortunate. But um, I give them a lot of credit. They played hard. I was proud of these guys. They hung in there, especially in that first half. It uh, wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. But uh, they grinded it out and they kept playing hard. And then that's what we got to do. We just got to be the best team we can be by the end of the year. We got to keep working, keep getting better. And I think they're doing that. And I think these two really stepped up tonight. Questions for the players? Pat, since Jeff came back, you've been playing a little less. Um, how did it feel to come out and not only contribute on the defensive end, but get your scoring touch back a bit? Oh, yeah, it felt good. Um, I always talk to the coach about it. I know I got to get me. It's just about bringing it out every game and just being confident. I'm trying to help my teammates out however I can. Defensive end, offensive end, it doesn't matter. You had a string there where you had four or five blocks in the span of maybe seven or eight possessions. Mm -hmm. Are you just wanting them to continue to take the ball at the hole and challenge you? Well, yeah, I like I like when they send the guys into me and I'm just trying to time it right, get the blocks. And I'm just trying to help my teammates out. John, how much does it mean when Jeff and uh, Pat come out and they score in those first couple of possessions and you guys have five guys the defense has to watch out for rather than just three or four? Oh, it's great. We, we know that they can do that. And that now with Jake and uh, Dom not playing right now, we need them to step up. And, that, and we all know that that's what they're going to do and that's what they could do. So <clears throat> they just proved it tonight. Pat, what did you think with the kid, Dane DeLegro, coming in? He has a reputation as one of the more physical players in the league. Yeah, you know, he's what tough. You... He's tough. He plays hard. He's um, he's a vet, like you said. And um, he just and they didn't get the they didn't get the win tonight, but they played hard and they played every minute of the game. When he yeah. came out of the game a couple times in the first half, did that really kind of you know open up the post for you guys and change things around, make it a little bit easier? You know, with they didn't really have anyone else they could sub in their form when they needed to give them a leader who could play that physical. Yeah, we just we try to take advantage of him being out, just throwing it in the post, and we just, like you said, took advantage of it. John, was this an example of you guys brought back three guys from last year's team, but having those three transfers who had played all those games before at their other colleges, helping you guys step up and win a big conference game? Yeah, definitely. It takes, it's going to take everybody, and uh, we know that. So everybody has injuries. Everybody's a little nicked up, and we all just have to step up when, when somebody goes down. And, like, just all, anytime we just play, we just <laughs> need to just step up and uh, contribute all <laughs> to the win, you know? Uh, John, you've played against Tyrone Conley for four years now. Did he look a little bit different out there, you know, like he was looking – Maybe to set up his shot a little bit more in the past, he's kind of had a reputation of been a kid that as soon as he touches it, he fires away from downtown. Um, I mean he's good, man. Uh, he's, I mean, I mean, I guess on his role on his team right now, I guess is to, to, I mean, he's maturing as he as he uh, gets older. He's a veteran now, and I guess, I guess his game is changing a little bit more. Uh, patience, I guess. So, uh, I, I could definitely see that a little bit. How big is it for you guys, and how good does it feel to come back after, you know, Maine, the long bus ride, and your first, you know, conference home game to come away with a win in a, a game like this that was that much of a grinded out, ugly, you know, at times game? I mean, it is big. It's big. I mean, we just have to take this and move forward, you know, and try to build on this, this win, and try to take it into Vermont. You know, like Coach said, it's just – we just try to get better after every game, and it's just one game at a time. So try not to get too high, try not to get too low, and um, just move forward, like you said. Not to look too far ahead, but Vermont on Sunday, a team that's always sort of been up there with BU during your four years, does that game mean a little bit more, knowing that you only have seven home games this year? No, nah, it's just the next game on the schedule. I mean, every game is big, so every game means a little bit more, you know. All right, thanks, guys.
Good job, John. Good job, Patrick. Alright, guys.